this is smoking. Oh God, I feel like this has to work. It's not a disaster yet, no. Is the toaster the thing that gets me? Welcome back to Chef Out of Water. I'm Alexis, the chef who's always up for a challenge. I've taken to the internet to ask you what appliance I should make a three course meal with. I'll be tasting everything myself. So hopefully it goes well. Let's see what you guys have chosen this time. Ah, toaster. You know, I always knew this could be a possibility, but um, I kind of blocked it out. What is this? A toaster baggie? Is this a thing? You put things in the toaster bag? Is this safe? I've never seen this before. Listen, the good news is there's four slots, so things can happen kind of at the same time. The bad news is it's a toaster. <laughs> I don't feel great about this. Wish me luck. Toaster is obviously used to make toast, but in this research, I'm not finding that like people are cooking a lot of things. There's the two settings and I can do different temperatures. Fabulous. It doesn't feel like, oh! They get really hot. Okay, good to know. These look like they don't melt. You can't put liquid in it. So I'm not sure how useful this actually is to me. My confidence level right now, is that a seven? I'm actually really surprised at how hot it gets. I think I'm gonna be okay. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty apprehensive about how well the toaster's gonna work, but I have made a plan. I'm gonna start with dessert, like I usually do, and I'm gonna try to make elephant ears, or palm ears. They're like puff pastry spirals with cinnamon and sugar. You can make them sweet or savory, but I'm gonna opt for sweet. To get started, I just need to roll out my puff pastry, and I'm just gonna trim it. Nice. So I'm gonna use cinnamon and sugar for the filling and I'm gonna sprinkle cinnamon on both sides. So you wanna be pretty generous with this. And you just wanna roll both sides up so that it kind of like curls like an elephant ear. Just trim the sides off. I'm gonna let these chill for a bit so that they're a little more stable before I pop them in the toaster. And I don't really have a backup plan, but we'll deal with that later. Moving on to my next course. Next up, I'm gonna work on my appetizer. I'm going to make potato chips and like a smoked fish dip. But first I'm gonna focus on the chips, which I'm gonna to try to fry in the toaster. I'm trying to keep the chips all pretty uniform, thin. I'm just gonna add some olive oil. Maybe I should start with like one chip in a bag. Speaking of inefficiency, this is gonna be very painstaking. High heat, let's see how that goes. I'll try another one with like a few potatoes in it, just to see if they can cook at the same time. And on this one, I'll try a lower heat. As I'm saying it, I feel like that's a bad choice. Maybe this on four? <sighs> this feels strange. Okay, so this potato just ripped and is cooking. Far from crispy, but let's pop it back in. It smells vaguely burnt. <gasps> okay. This potato is broken, but you can see it's starting to get a little brown. They're kind of whizzing. They kind of sound like they've been on a sheet pan in the oven. It kind of smells burning, so. Oh God. The outside looks like it's getting cooked and a bit burnt. The inside, you just touch it. Still not crisp. My confidence level is a four. While those potatoes are going, I'm gonna soak some wooden skewers in some water to get ready for my next course. Whenever you're using wooden skewers, whether it's on the grill, in the oven, in the toaster, you wanna make sure that you've soaked them with water first. Ooh, this is smoking. Oh God, okay. Um, it appears that my chip is fully burnt. <laughs> this chip looks good. It looks fine. Doesn't look great. Add a little salt. Oh God. So for the dip, just gonna make smoked fish dip. Got some creme fraiche, lemon zest. Gonna add a little lemon juice and you can kind of just like flake it right off. Yum. I'm in some dill, salt, little pepper. So pretty. Listen, if the chips are a fail, the dip, which had nothing to do with the toaster, 
is a success. Appetizer is done. Oh, I am not feeling good about this. <laughs> I have my frozen elephant ears and I just need to slice them. Okay, little elephant ear. Let's hope for the best. Just a lot of waiting with appliances like this. Does look like it's starting to puff. A tiny, tiny bit. Look at the edge there. Maybe if it's just in like one flat square, it has a better chance of puffing. I don't really know what dessert this is, just a puff pastry square. Ooh, shoot, this is burning. As I suspected, the outside is burnt, the inside is still raw. I just, I don't have a backup plan. I've never not completed it. Guys, this is, this is not going well. These are burnt too. The puff pastry square also doesn't work. Is the toaster the thing that gets me? I'm gonna do a little more research. You know, the toaster, it is giving off a lot of heat inside, so I kind of think if I put something on top of it and use it more like a stove top or something a little more conventional, I might be more successful, I hope. Feeling a tiny bit more optimistic than I was before. I've got a plan. I'm gonna try and make lace cookies. And what I'm gonna do is melt the ingredients in a pan over the toaster. That's gotta work, right? And then I'm going to drop them onto the sheet pan and cook them like that. Got white sugar, brown sugar, butter, and corn syrup and a pinch of salt. Toaster on high. If I can pull this off, I will be very impressed. So far, it looks like a blob. Oh, okay, okay, this is this is looking good. Wow. Gonna add a little bit of vanilla. This looks great. It looks like a small amount of batter, but you only use like a teaspoon per cookie and then they spread. And I'm just gonna wrap this in foil. I wonder if I should take the tin foil off. If I put these in the oven, they would kind of spread into like a perfect circle. But I think because the heat is uneven, you know, it's coming out in slots. It's kind of formed these abstract shapes. I wonder if putting a sheet pan on top, again, to create that like oven environment. I would never recommend doing this at home and I will also never do this again. I feel like my next course will be a little more successful, but at this point, who knows? I'll be honest. They don't look great. This is not what I envisioned, but it's better than whatever happened with the puff pastry, so I'm gonna take it as a win. Okay, moment of truth. They're so wrong. Is this the worst thing I've ever made? I hope the next course is more successful. This has been a truly humbling experience, but I feel pretty optimistic for my last course. I'm gonna make shrimp kebabs. How badly could it go? I'm gonna be pretty simple with the seasonings all around. Just some salt, some paprika, some pepper, and give it a toss. I'm gonna try with one shrimp first. I don't know how dangerous this is. It feels pretty strange though. Ooh, but there's some color on the shrimp. It's starting to get pink. Feeling better, feeling better. Wow, it looks like it's almost ready. One shrimp. <laughs> looks pretty good, I'm impressed. I have a sneaking suspicion that I can do multiple shrimp in the bags. I mean, this is also good to know that it takes only like one pop to get a shrimp. Cool. <laughs> well, the shrimp cooks. I'm gonna cut some vegetables. Zucchini, classic kebab vegetable. Got some summer squash. Seasonings are very simple here, but honestly, I feel like I'm too busy worrying about, you know, if the toaster is gonna work. I mean, it's like, totally working. These are great. This is definitely the most efficient thing I've done today. I mean, I'm knocking all the shrimp out in like one pop. Okay, I'm gonna get some more bags, put my veggies in there, and we're moving right along. I'm gonna test each one separately. Vegetables are cooking. 
slowly. They're more so steaming, but that's fine. Not perfect, but there's some hint of color. I feel pretty happy about that. Precious. These have a little color too. These are actually pretty cute. <laughs> Toaster shrimp kebabs complete. This looks pretty delicious. I'm gonna get my other courses and give everything a taste. The moment of truth. This was such an intense day. I haven't struggled this much since the microwave. I mean, I had to make a totally new dessert and it still doesn't look great, but I have to say I'm really happy about the appetizer and main course. Like these two look beautiful. I think my overall confidence is like a seven. Okay, and my appetizer. Some of the chips have gotten a little soggy, so. Okay, that's a good looking chip. Maybe I should try a chip before, before dip. Oh, oh, it's so bad. It just tastes burnt. Even though it doesn't look burnt, it tastes burnt like all the way through. Maybe the dip is gonna help me. Ooh, wow. The dip is fantastic, but I didn't use a toaster to make the dip. And even though the dip is so great, I can still taste the burnt chip through it. The taste of these is like a zero, maybe a one. These are bad. These are so bad. I really think my kebabs look beautiful, but let's see how they taste. It's overcooked for sure. If someone made me this for dinner, I wouldn't say anything, but I wouldn't really enjoy it either. Hmm. Okay. Squash is fine. Oh God. The pepper has that burnt flavor too. The same as the potato, although they do not look burnt and frankly could use quite a bit more time. Taste wise, I would give this a three. It looks beautiful, but this is not good. And now for my most embarrassing thing I've ever made, my cookies. <laughs> not great tastes like, um, just tastes like burnt sugar. And it's kind of like adhering to my teeth. I mean, I'd probably give those like a, a three also. Edible, but do you want it? No. I think the toaster is the appliance that has brought me down. Did I make three courses with the toaster? Yes. Are they good? Not at all. Let me know in the comments what you would make with a toaster. I'll see you next time.